Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Let's Play World of Warcraft. This is episode 4, and here I am with Shies. Shies? Shies? I hope that's how you say it. I'm gonna say Shies. Uh, the Paladin. And, uh, here we are kicking the ass of this young forest bear. Because it's young and it deserves an ass whooping. Yeah, we need one more and we complete that quest, and I got a couple of quests to hand in as well, so... We are going to ding level 10 this episode, and uh, I'd like to pick this up. Is this copper or earth root? I'm not sure if we high enough for the earth root variety of herb, but we'll give it a try, shall we? Yes, we are. Nice. Well, this little bastard. Boo! There's a lot of people in low-level areas farming herbs and mining ores, so it's kind of annoying that, you know, they're flying around and doing this. And, you know, I've been not too bad, but a uh, little low for your level, sir. <laughs> we'll see what he says. This guy's ass. <laughs> He's like asking what. Oh, I got a new skill, this heal thing, and I also got these up there. So if I use this, it uses all three of those. And basically, when I use my, uh, oops, here we go. When I use my uh, Crusader Strike, or maybe even this one. This one? Oh, I don't have enough mana to see anymore. Uh, it adds these charges. So that guy seems legit. There's a lot of low, like level 90s here. I'm sure they're all not at 54 herb. But anyways, uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and finish this. So we have to hand these quests in at the bridge over here. No speed movement buffs. Ah, my kitty, my kitty. I miss Drews because they they kind of get a little fast moving, you know, speed buffs and stuff like that. So I'm kind of used to that old uh, Phaeacian treatment. Looks like all the items are crap. Oh, he has recruit a friend. Too many people abuse that recruit a friend. I personally will not use it myself. I just I find it too fast, too easy. You ruin the game experience. Even if you've done it dozens and dozens of times, which I have, I still don't see a need for the recruit a friend. But I guess I'm old fashioned that way. So here we go. We're gonna hand these quests in, and uh, this one should make me ooh one handed mace, ooh a two handed sword. Finally, some better DPS. Be careful. There we go. Ding level ten. And look at this, we got a nice uh, new chest piece. Look at they put crit strike on it, nice. So, let's try the weapon before we go and touch our talent, shall we? Um, ooh, you know what I forgot to do? Set my, oh, we haven't been in the Stormwind City either though. Okay, so here's this guy. So I just hit him for a bunch of damage, 54 damage. But overall, things should be a little bit, you know, faster pace here, oh yeah. So now we're kicking a bit more ass. Um, now, let's check out our talents, this button here, or N. Uh, here you can choose, so do you want to be holy, a healer it says, protection, a tank, or retribution, damage. If I'm retribution, uh, you get things like the Crusader Strike, which we already have, most kind of interested in this, 125, 26, I guess it's just telling you, um, hmm. Anyways, you get Judgment, which we already have. I'm a little confused on this. Templar's Verdict, which is the big one, I think. Oh, okay, so Templar's Verdict is what I'll get. And the Art of War. Uh, auto attacks have a 20% chance resetting uh, their cooldown. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's a passive, too. And this one, uh, Hammer of Wrath. Nice. So if we learn this, we should get our new move. There we go. Yeah. Comes down leggy looking, but it's not leggy. It's just That's how it looks. And honestly, that should be probably our third one. Um, so let's give this a try. I don't know what other boosts it may have done for us, if any. Hmm, maybe. But either way, let's try this out. So now we should be, you know, a little more ass kicking here. With this weapon, it looks like we're ass kicking too. Uh, like I said before, I think 
paladins may be very weaponized. Like they, they're, you know, if you have really good weapons and stats, you kick a lot of ass, which seems to be the case. Like we're already kicking some ass here, which is funny. Wow. I like to try to use this new move I got here. Um, three. What? 189 non-crit damage. Nice. Um, and it's an AoE, I think. A powerful strike that consumes three charges of holy power and deals 275 weapon damage plus 21. I don't think it was... No, it looked AoE, but I don't think it was AoE. Huh. Interesting anyways. That was uh, pretty badass there. So we were going to today go and do a little uh, exploring, I guess, uh, if that's the term we can use. Uh, we we're going to check out Stormwind City, weren't we? So let's head there now. Let's hand in this quest, I guess. So now I feel really good. Now we're kicking stuff. It was pretty slow going, to be honest, but now it's, you know, ass kicking time. Nice. So we're starting to get a lot of greens. Look at that. Woohoo! We got achievement for completing 50 quests. Um, is she a vendor? No, we're going to find a lot anyways. So there's a griffin uh, rider here. We haven't actually been on one of these yet. It goes to Goldshire and Stormwind. And um, we just How talk to you? this young gentleman here and we say, Stormwind, please. And we're on this flying mount that will take us there. You have no control over the uh, griffins for new players to WoW. Um, you do get flying mounts down the road. Uh, level 60, uh, you get them. I think 58 for Druid, everyone else 60. And, uh, yeah, so exciting. And we're going to check out the auction house today. Yeah, yeah. Get the blood flowing, huh? I really wish somebody wouldn't be sharing all that detail, but apparently this guy's excited that he's going to ding in a certain time. Um, what else we're up for is PvP. I'm not going to do it this episode. we got a lot of things to catch up because you kind of... Low levels, you get it like kind of shot at you. So here's the other uh, Griffin guy here, right there. Flight point, we call it, or FP. Um, I also... I don't think I did it on camera. I was sick and tired of having no inventory space, so I bought three more... Uh, six slot bags. They were going to think about four silver each. A little expensive, but I was a bit desperate. I needed some inventory space. Uh, I was just not functioning at all at this point, so I went ahead and did that little, uh, you know, burst there. Um, this is the trainer here, actually. He, this person, I can think, train, yeah, you can train your normal riding, which is three gold, 60 silver at level 20. So we're only at 19 uh, silver. But the funny thing is, just one of these stacks of the maybe the herbs or the copper ore should get us literally like 20 gold or 15 gold, maybe 10 gold, but more than enough to actually buy that training. So we don't actually have to worry and say, oh god, I don't, I don't know if I'll make it that, because you will definitely make it if you did some mining and stuff. Um, there is somebody who's actually going to take us back to the Dark Moon Fair that we can get a free ride with. Or I think it costs a little bit, but uh, we'll look into her in the few minutes here. So this is the inn, and this is where I like to actually make my home right here. So I could easily use that hearthstone. Now the hearthstone we have not used yet, but it's this little thing that you start with. And every 15 minutes, or 30 if you're not in a 25-man uh, level guild, um, will take you to Stormwind. It, it may be lower level. I don't know what level they get. Maybe it's level 5 or 10. I don't know. But either way, every 15 minutes I'm able to use that Hearthstone and get to this innkeeper directly. So it's a, sort of like a, a direct shortcut to, you know, getting what I need. Look at this guy. Look at his uh, swords. That's so cool. So if we inspect them, they're probably, uh, yet, um, trans, uh, transmogified to fell steel long blades so you can actually take the appearance of one item and put it onto another it if it's the it. same kind of weapon so like a two-handed sword um, but anyways let's go ahead and vendor everything I have here that I feel that isn't important um, murloc scales uh, they're white for some reason there's some fins too but I don't think we need the straining wolf meat may be actually valuable we'll keep it for just to check but uh, the bear meat maybe too. At this level we we wouldn't mind making a buck off of anything really. Let's get rid of these health potions. Actually, you know what? Uh not having as much heal capability yet. I'm gonna keep the health potions the uh, lesser ones. Are those lesser? Yeah, lesser healing ones. 
So if we walk in here, this is the auction house. And uh, you'll see everyone here all the time in the auction house here, buying and selling. Um, if we go here and hit search and scroll to the bottom, we have 87,800 or 87,081 items in total on this auction house. Please remember the maximum amount of time an item can be on the auction house is 48 hours. So that's quite a lot of items if you think about it. And it doesn't count for, I don't think, individual items. Like, uh, so if you put like a stack of 20 of something, I don't think, I think that's counted as one, but I could be wrong. Either way, it's still a lot of items. So there's this nice panel here with Auctionator that I'm going to try doing. Um, you can do a full scan, which is really cool. Um, but I wouldn't do a full scan with you guys here. But uh, if you typed in full scan, Basically, what it will do is it will scan the entire auction house, every item on it, and give you an idea, um, you know, like how much everything is and, you know, what it's worth, etc., etc. Now, it says scanning the auction house builds a database, prices the auction editor uses, two purposes to display an item tooltip when you're away from the auction house, and to set a recommended price when you're posting an item, which there is no other uh, auctions at the moment. If normal scanning causes problems, you can try slow scanning instead. Let's just hold down the control before you click the start scan button. Um, I assume it's doing a scanning right now, analyzing data. I don't know what this fast scan is. I've never even heard of it. I mean, if it works well, that's kind of cool. But I'm just going to leave this for a minute because I've never actually had... Uh, I've never tried the auctionator scan, but let's just say it takes almost an hour with auctioneer to scan all that. What? 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 Oh my god, that's amazing. I didn't know it could do that. Wow. Let's see if it truly scanned everything. Yeah, it tells you the auction value. Now that's per individual. If you hold down shift, it will tell you what a stack of something goes for. So the copper ore, 15 gold. Uh, the silver leaf, almost two gold. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how it tells you. This this stringy wolf meat that I thought maybe sell, it actually sells for six gold for that amount. This only 14 silver. Um, this six gold. Even this uh, rough stone, uh, a stack of it sells for six gold. And this is stuff that you want to like keep an eye on. Um, so this is all good. So here we go. We're going to post our copper ore. And we're going to click current here. And uh, actually, I'm not sure how this works. There we go. We post that there. History. Now, it is supposed to, and it isn't giving me. Let's try something else here, like this. Scanning auction house for rough stone. It said nothing for copper ore. There's a chance that copper ore is completely out right now. Um, but stack price, six gold, and it looks like the most minimum, oh, it looks like it does not in order, is six gold. And so if you click this, um, bio is six gold. Now, a lot of times they don't put a minimum, so maybe it's good to put a two dollar, oh, per item, never mind. Oh, interesting. Oh, I wonder how it puts out the um, min, like the bid price for it. Well, we're just going to leave it to this, create auction. There you go, so the rough stone. And then if we put less than the full amount of rough stone, ooh crap, per item, one, oh no. I may have screwed that up. Let's see here. This is the lowest price. So if we click that, okay, it auto just sets the price. And it should set it a little under, I think. Well, it's hard to tell because I don't have 20 of them. Let's, uh, let's just say uh, create auction. Oh, here he is. Starting uh, price discount, 5%. So you're basically putting it 5% under. Um, so if we take 20 uh, copper ore, it should scan the copper ore in there. And it'll tell you how many pages. So it looks like it was just one page there. And it looks like 15 gold is the lowest for a stack of 20 here. And so that's it looks like it does an order. So you just click that, and basically it's taking a 5% discount on there. Create auction. Um, you may want to put it more depending if you you know how much you want to play the auction house I'm setting these at 12 hour durations because at 12 hours they haven't sold then the fluctuation of the marketplace just like completely changed might as well get it back early and it's a little cheaper deposit like uh, let's just say this thing here um, and it depends on the base price or something but deposit if I put 48 hours 
Actually, it says the same. I'm a little confused on that. But anyways, one of these. Uh, stack of four, blah, blah, blah. Stack price. So, four stacks of one. Four stacks of... Oh, just one that's telling you. Okay, so that's worth 99, basically. Um, Shadow gem here. You just click this. And it's all, it's doing this really well. This is amazing. Uh, linen cloth here. Uh, sometimes it doesn't pop this up. I'm not sure why, but we just try it again, I guess. Hmm. I'm not quite sure why it does that sometimes. Because you know it, it is finding it. It's just, it derps up. I'm not sure quite why it does that, though. Yeah, it's doing it again. Isn't that interesting? Well, let's try something like this then. Tough jerky, nothing found. So we could probably. Uh, well, it's it's giving us something. Uh, create auction. Why can't we create an auction? This is not interesting. Buyout price for two, three, two. Huh, interesting. I guess you just have to put a. You know, just retype it in, kind of thing. Stringy, stringing wolf meat, stringy wolf meat. Here we go. So we'll make six gold off of that if it sells. Uh, people do buy them for their uh, crafting. Isn't this interesting though? If you go ahead and shift click linen. Oh, here we go. Linen bolt. Oh, is it because it's gonna have? Oh no. Hmm. Here, I'm not quite sure what happened there. You can see here, linen cloth, 19, 19, 19, so we can just go ahead and, uh, weird. Um, actually this is interesting, this stuff looks like it goes cheaper than I thought, or more than it goes, huh. 19 gold, 19 gold, looks like somebody may be artificially trying to screw it, 13 gold, okay. And what about this one? 1 gold, 20 gold, 11 gold. So you could probably get more than that, but I only have to put 9 gold. And this should be half of that too, right? Okay, that works. I'm interested by this whole... Oh, here we go. Oh, now it's working somewhat. There we go. Uh, silver leaf, put it in here. Current scanning, okay, this is better. So you want to pay attention to like, you know, one stack of one. You probably don't want to set to that. One stack of four, you're not going to look at that. The ones that you're interested in, which seem to be bold, is the ones that are, you know, in 20. So you can see, you know, this is the price, 35. This is each, don't forget, 37, 38. So it's starting to rise quite a bit. Um, and two stacks of that. So I could probably get a lot. But since I'm doing this for the first time, I don't mind actually getting a little less. I mean, if I get six gold out of that, I don't mind at all. So I'll undercut the first stack. You kind of want to undercut the first stacks. You don't want to, like, really undercut, say, individual one one ones because those are the ones that are usually going to bite you in the ass, probably, so. Um, so, yeah, let's see here. This one here. Create auction. There we go. And uh, let's see here. One stack. Okay, so we got 34, 34. One stack of three. One stack of six. Um, yeah, it's hard to decide. I'll put it down to the six gold one. Like I said, I'm not in a really a rush. And uh, yeah, you can sell your individual ones if you really want to. I'll probably do that just to get rid of them. There you go. It seems pretty smart, anyways. You know, when you're not doing a whole stack, it's better to just put it at a lower price. You're just trying to get rid of it anyways. There we go. So if we go to auctions, here's the auctions here. They're all listed now. And, you know, that's a lot of money in there if you think about it. Like, all, look at all the gold that we can get out of this stuff over time if it works. Now this, I accidentally screwed this up. Um, definitely not going to sell for that, but we might as well wait till it gets back. We accidentally put it on. It's supposed to be like six gold or something. Instead, we put it to 25 because I was screwing around. wasn't sure what I was doing at the time. But, uh, yeah. That's, uh, that's the auction house anyways. It's, uh, pretty simple and decent to use. 
Uh, not bad at all. Um, I guess the next place here we want to check out is uh, the bank. So this is the inn, that was the auction house. This is the bank where you can store items and you know buy more uh, bags and place them in here as well. Um, so Game's here's on. your bank, this is what you begin with. Since I've used bag on, we just open this and you can actually buy more. Now they're not all 10 silver, they go up to, I think it's like 10 silver, maybe like 1 gold, 10 gold, 25 gold, 25 gold, 25 gold, 25 gold, something like that. And you add them and since bag on's on here, they'll actually look like this. They'll just keep expanding the inventory as one looking inventory, which looks really nice. It just saves you a lot of time. Uh, looks like I got this thing here, cozy fire, oh, I guess I was sitting beside a fire. Somebody's working on cooking and they're literally buying it off the auction house, so working on it here. I don't know where the fire is, but it's around here somewhere, I guess. Another thing you want to look into, which we don't really have a lot of money quite yet, is containers. Usually when you sell your first amount of items, you can look into containers. Uh, right now, we probably don't even have enough for these, and yeah. See, nine silvers for a small brown bag. Well, unfortunately, I can buy the same ones already for uh, a little less than that. Um, they're like four silver. You know, it's not till you get higher up, like the nether weave bags that are okay price, 15 gold for the 16 slot bags. Unfortunately, right now, we're a little poor, so we're just going to have to kind of wait on that till we get more uh, stuff sold. So yeah, that is Stormwind. There's a lot more to Stormwind, and we will definitely explore Stormwind down the road. But for now, um, I think that's a good intro to Stormwind. But we do have a quest here, so we might as well go to it and finish it off. And we'll get a little more of a sneak peek of Stormwind. Even though this quest is probably... Actually, no, it's still uh, worth EXP. Nice. So just slowly hover over here. Oh, look at this person. They're lighting. I don't know what that sound was. Oh, she flew away. Or... So yeah, I used to go to Stormwind for a lot more reasons back in the day. You have to go there to train skills, etc., etc. It doesn't happen anymore because you don't need to go there. Skills are all automatic, of course, now, so it's a little different. Um, if we click this, we can see what we're going to learn soon, too. So level 12, Righteous Fury. Increases your threat generated and active, so it just basically turns you into a bit of a t tank, even if you're DPS. Maybe you're playing with a friend who's a healer or, you know, a cloth user, etc. When I team up with them now, I'll hold the aggro, saving them any, you know, punishment, uh, which is nice. Uh, Redemption is level 13. Uh, that's a res skill, so that'll uh, let me res people, which is great. Be Thank careful. you. And level 14, Flash of Light, um, that heals, it's funny, it says, I don't know if that's true, but man, that's a lot of health if it does. It says right now that it quickly, uh, expensive, a quick expensive heal that heals friendly targets for 1939 health, which is like double my health, right, this minute anyways. And it only costs 15 mana. I have 40 mana. Okay, well, that's a lot of mana if you compare it to how much mana I have. Wow, I didn't even know I had so little. Now I see why I keep running out of mana. Uh, eventually, I think there's a way to actually regenerate that without losing too much mana, but I'm not sure when that happens. Um, oh, crap. Oh, no, that, that's the uh, Griffin guy. Okay. Well... I, I guess I should talk to the Griffin guy because he is giving me a quest there and I have to go do that. But uh, I kind of wanted to talk to those NPCs that were giving me a quest to go to the next, uh, the Dark Moon Fair. I don't know if I'll get a wee bit of EXP, but any EXP is better than no EXP if you ask me. So I'd like to show that off anyways. Be with you. Here we go. There you go, buy a Griffin ride, blah, blah, blah. Oh, it says buy a griffin ride, you know. I wonder if that guy's yellow or not, then. If it's buy. Okay, it shows uh, it's a done quest, so we should be fine. I was making sure it wasn't one like some quest. You have to actually trigger an event. So maybe they forcefully... Oh, this person here? You should go here and eat silver. Let's buy it. They have one of these at each uh, city's faction. 
or basically near their griffins, and it's basically a faction banner. And when we do dungeons, oh, you get a little achievement as well, our first one on this character. When you do dungeons, um, this will actually uh, give you more rep towards Stormwind, or at least like direct this rep to Stormwind. Um, sometimes dungeons give none, sometimes it's random, but uh, yeah, and look at this map. Isn't that cool? With a vendor on it, and uh, that's so cool. So over here, we can talk to this lovely person here, which is the Dark Moon Fair, which I think is last night. Like, literally, the Dark Moon Fair is going to end, like, in an hour or two. So we have our chance to visit the Dark Moon Mare one time here, basically, um, before the uh, it's over. And when I mean over, it's over for uh, another month. And look at that. I got an achievement for going here, it looks like. Nice. Come on, come all. Nice. So here we are, we're at the Dark Moon Fair, and uh, we're going to hand in our quest, and it's, the Dark Moon Fair was never like this, it was a very small type event, but now they made it into like a big zone that you can visit, which is really cool. The graphics look beautiful, if you look around. Very creepy looking. So we just head our way to, uh, down here, and you can see all the little fun arrows. Music and fireworks and lights up the night. Do not stop. You're nearly there. Here's the fireworks. Yay! And you'll see this is pretty well traveled. Oh, interesting. Unknown. He is actually the unknown. Aww. Wish I could ride him, get there faster. Okay, so here we are, the Dark Moon Fair. Dark, it's a fair, and uh, honestly, there is no moon actually, because it's dark and it's cloudy. Um, so you go here and you do little events. Uh, before you can even do the events, you need to talk it to the ticket guy, and you'll buy, you'll get tickets from him. Um, which hopefully, um, I can remember which guy he is. Are you him? No. Gaming token. Here you go. So you can buy a thing for silver and 44. Okay, perfect. So you don't need to be rich. That gives you a pack of them. And you right click this, and you'll get 20 uh, game tokens. And each game costs one game token. And where is my. I think he's right. Oh, here it is. Let's hand in this quest. Hey, how you doing? There you go. Free voucher. Look at that, you get already five prize tickets, which you can use to Time buy things. Money, These are like vendors, and you can use them for later, the or save them up. Uh, there's even some like heirloom items I think you can buy. Can Replica buy? armors, which look like old armors, I guess. Uh, let's see what this one looks like. So you can look like this one here. Look how cool this one looks. I guess, does this let me pan up and down? There we go, look at that. So you can buy that armor with all the different uh, stuff. Um, this is Replica Armor Prize. Oh, is this another one? I wonder what this one looks like. Oh, there you go. How cool does that look? Uh, let's get this work in there. There you go. So that's kind of cool. Um, there's even heirloom ones where you can actually use your tickets and buy heirloom weapons that grow with you. So look at this axe. This axe compared to my weapon I have does almost double the damage and has four strength six stamina and four crit strike and it literally keeps growing and you'll see it on other players it looks like this and you'll see it other players having it. and that's a heirloom so unfortunately i can't afford it right now but down the road those are things that you can buy um wants you to collect 250 unfortunately i'm not going to accept this quest since it's over now and uh I won't be able to finish in time, but basically, you just kill 250 mobs over the event of the time, and uh, you just you get a bunch of EXP for it, um, and some tokens and stuff for, you know, the tickets. Um, but you can see right here, it's going to end uh, today at 4 a.m., so literally, like, probably an hour, 30 minutes from now. Um, but basically, you go here and you do different little events, so let's let's, let's do a couple here while we're here. Might as well end the episode of having fun. Uh, looks like this is one of the events. So they're just simple things. You just go up to them. You accept their request. They'll give you a, a prize thing, which is usually just a, a ticket and maybe once in a while a little random Safe little travels. toy. And then basically you just go like this, and you can just spam these on there. Whee! 
There's no real skill, I don't think, to this one. You just keep, you know, doing this while it sometimes moves around here and there. And I got all three on there. So, yeah, just complete it, and that's it. You get rep, which is nice. 300 rep and 150 guild rep, so that all adds up nicely. And there you go, I got another ticket, so... Hit C, or open your character screen, you go to currency, we have six in total now. So it just adds up. And uh, if you have mining and skinning and I think other you know trade skills, maybe even crafting ones, you'll get little other quests that you can pick up here, but you have to be a certain level, which I'm not quite high enough yet to pick these uh, special ones up. But they'll give you, you know, more little rewards and stuff as well. So if we go over here, uh, this is a tank game here. Taunt commander. And then basically you just accept, ready to play. And even if you fail, this is the nice thing guys, even if you fail, um, so let's just say you can complete, uh, you know, thing. You have to run when you see that green arrow on there. It means I think that blimp is trying to kill me or something. But uh, like this one, I probably won't get all 30 of them done in time. Uh, so what will happen is um, I can redo it, like, you know, start again. But it adds up, so I'll have whatever I left off with before and then do it again. Which is nice, because you don't want to end up having to, you know, do this over and over and over just to get it, you know, perfect in one shot, so. And we're almost up here, I think, anyways. And you know what? We finished it in one shot. Yeah, we kicked ass. Yeah, we finished it in one shot, so I wasn't that bad. But let's just say I got 27, I can go again, and I would go from 27, 28, 29, 30. And so that's sort of how that works. This guy is a Pokemon kind of guy. He's like a master guy. Uh, don't even try, because apparently he's like level 25 or something with three epic uh, guys. So it's not an easy uh, one. This one's a shooting gallery, and we just go here and start. And then basically we just shoot. And then if you can predict where the next one is, kind of, you'll get a quick shot if you can do it in time. So look, I'll try the middle one, see if, oh no, it's not there. Nope. Oh, there we go, quick shot. You even get an achievement for it, nice. Actually, with my better latency on this server, I can do the quick shot. There you go. The timer's almost up. Come on. Yes, we got it again. Oh, darn it. It's off by what, like one or something? There you go. So you just go back again and finish off where we left. And there we go. And we just can hand it in. You don't have to keep going. And there we go. So we got two prize tip boxes now. A ticket. Most of them are tickets. Oh, here you go. You got a tiger, which is just a silly little toy. She can buy ten for one ticket, I think. But uh, oh, you can't use it here. I'll show you outside when we're out of here. Um, I thought I saw something like a quest over here. What was the? Did I see a yellow here? I thought I saw maybe a yellow, but I probably crazy. Oh yeah, there is. What is this? Oh, that's the one that we... Yeah, never mind. That's the one where you kill 250 things, but I'm not going to bother because I'm going to have to hold on to the quest for two weeks. And I said a month, but I think it's two weeks actually when I'm looking on here. Oops, I'm clicking everything in the wrong thing. So you click up here at the top corner of your calendar. It shows you the events, and you can even mark on like battlegrounds and things like that, raid resets. Um, so this one, this one's a more tricky one. Let's see if I can do it in one shot. It's a cannonball and if you get right in the middle perfectly uh, you get literally all ten or all five points at once but it's very tricky. So you want to like land in that. So you hit one and oh just on the outskirts so that's like two points I think. Three okay. So I try again and I want to try to get in the middle or, or even that again and if you're outside of it I think you get one point, 
So you'd have to do it five times, I guess. Oh god. This guy will teleport you for 25 copper. But the price goes up the higher you get, but of course, the higher you get, the less it's actually important. There we go again. So hopefully we get there again. Here we go. And... Nope, too short. So one point I think I get? Oh, you don't even get a point. Oh god, so if you're really far off, you don't even get anything, so... Woof! Off and, away. and these cost a ticket each time, so already we're three tickets just trying to get this. Let's try this again, shall we? And... Yes! Perfect, right? Yep. Yeah! So that was five points. So if I did that originally the first time, uh, I would have gotten five points. And one of my add-ons, I think, can even tell me, but it wasn't doing it for me, but whatever. It can, like, predict or something. So there you go. And just a ticket again from that guy. And I guess we have one more here that we can do. I think that's it. This is the only ones I've ever seen open. I don't know if they switch them from every two weeks or not. Oh, shoot. I guess I should ask him to go in there. I'm ready. There you go. So basically, these things pop up. You don't want to hit the female, because she doesn't like to be hit. This guy's worth more points, like three or four, I think. Darn it. Oh, guy worth a lot of points. Get him, get him, get him. Go, go, go! I'm not talking much, I apologize. My tongue's like sticking out trying to do this. I want to be a hero! Oh yeah. So we may make this one in one shot. Not always, but oh shit. Here we go. Yes, one shot of it. There you go. Oh, it's 30. Never mind. I thought it was 25. Ah, darn it. So I didn't make it that time. So I have to spend one more ticket. Of course, they do it the rest, but whatever. Darn it. And there we go. Oh. There we go, and then we just hand this in. Thank you. And then there you go. So we got another achievement. We got two achievements just for that. Five uh, daily quests completed, and then of course step right up doing these five different ones. So they may not have any different ones yet. I mean, I've seen other little things here, but so far I've only been able to do the ones. Time is money, friend. Oh, you can buy your tokens from this NPC right here, two feet away. I didn't even realize that. So that's something they keep an eye on. So you could either go all the way back up to the portal there, or there's another portal over here we can go through. And I'll, I might as well walk through that. And then that's it. We, we're going to end this episode here. Oh, look, at we got another one of these little cute pet things. So I'll go ahead and put them in Elwyn, uh, or Goldshire, and place them on the ground. You'll see some other players jumping onto them and having fun with them. Goodbye. Goodbye, fair. Sucks when you don't have like a mount or any movement speeds uh, buffs at this level. It's just like, woo! In six years, we'll get there. Goodbye! Oh, look at that draft. Oh, look at that poster. Oh, it's like a Godzilla gorilla looking thing. Cool. There we go, we just right click this, and boom! We're done, baby. So here we go. Not many people in here, but we can go ahead and place these in here for fun. There you go, let's we'll see people. Oh, you can't use it for another three minutes. I guess they don't want you to spam them all. There you go. Whee! 
it just goes back and forth. That's literally all it does. Other people can hop onto it too. But uh, anyways, yeah. Just a little cute item anyways. Just a social. Yeah, it lasts for three minutes. And you can't place one for another three minutes. That prevents, you know, I guess, you know, spamming like a dozen of them. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy this. And I will see you next time.